Warning, this video contains jump scares. <laughs> Get it? Because that's that's what we're going to be looking at. We're going to be looking at the, uh, the, the, uh, the jump scares for the, the you know, help wanted. Get... Okay, I see how it is. So last night I was browsing through Reddit to see if there was anything interesting, looking at some funny memes, you know, and then I came across a someone's video when they were at PAX East uh, a few days ago that showed the jump scares for both Chica and Faceless Bonnie, which I thought was just really, really interesting, so I thought, you know what, tomorrow I'm going to make a video about this just so I can show you guys some more jump scares, because we have seen a few. But we haven't seen Chica, or as far as I know, we haven't seen Chica. And especially, we definitely haven't seen Faceless Bonnie. So, I'm going to pull up the video. It's on Reddit. It's linked down below. You can go check it out. Um, I guess I'll be doing an, an analysis of it. I don't think it has audio, though. Um, but if it does, cool. <claps> on to the video. So, this video was made by a reviewer that actually plays some VR games and says their opinion about them. So, I guess we're going to hear their opinion about it as well. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that. Hopefully they say good things, because if they say bad things, then my hopes are going to go a lot down. The second game that I played was the incredible... I haven't heard their review, by the way. At Freddy's. This game consists of several small puzzle-type games that are small all puzzles. on the original game. I was able to try out There's the jump scare. puzzles in this game, one of which consisted of sitting in a security office, watching monitors for creepy animatronics lurking outside. And God, I wish you could hear what the, the game's saying. The hey, there's a bunny plush. The other one required that I tune one of the creature's guitars. One of the creatures. Pull the eyeballs out and reach into its mouth to hit a button. Hey. Both of these scenarios ended with me nearly throwing the controller. I'm really looking forward to more of this game when it comes out sometime this spring. Is that the button? Oh! Hey! To enter calibration mode. Okay, Google. Define calibration. Here's the definition of calibration. The action or process of calibrating an instrument or experimental readings. That doesn't help. You can't use the word in the definition. Google, you suck. Um, yeah. So, apparently Bonnie has different modes for his guitar or something. Is that the end? He said, he says something's wrong with a note. Oh God. Oh God. Oh, there's actual, there's actual notes. Uh, she's gonna do something wrong, isn't she? I have my faith in you. I think your name was like VR Girl or something. So maybe you had to put the f uh, face place on. Yeah, VR Game Girl. Whatever. Uh, follow them on whatever social that is. I mean, you can if you want to. They did provide some pretty good explanation. or not explanation. Details about the game. So, now let's go... Uh, step by step looking at it. She said that there are puzzles within the game that are connected or similar to the ones in the original and as she's currently playing the FNAF 1, I'm guessing those puzzles are just watch the cameras, close the doors, flick on the lights, defend yourself, because I don't think there's going to be any puzzle puzzles in this mini game. The second game that I played was the incredibly creepy Five Nights at They say it's Un uh, incredibly creepy. 
small puzzle. So you can hear Chica moaning. All based on the original game. I was able to so there's the Chica jump scare. Let's let's get that in slow motion, like what we did with uh, Foxy in the other in the other video. Damn. That looks awesome, by the way. Steel Wool. Guys, if you haven't already, go support Steel Wool. They're doing an absolutely uh, unbelievably incredible job with this game. <laughs> like, everything about it, I have nothing to say but positive things. Yeah, so we've seen this, pulling out Bonnie's eyes. And making sure I shut the correct door to the security office before they could get to me. The other one required that I tune one of the creature's guitars. This so one, we're going to be pulling out Bonnie's eyes and tuning his guitars. Or a guitar. Both of these scenarios ended with me nearly throwing the control. Okay, so this is what I'm getting from the gameplay and uh, her explanation. Is that you go to Bonnie, and in order to do this section of the minigame, you arrive there, you pull out his eyes, you put them in the little bin, I guess. And then you have to open up his face plates by what looks like pressing two buttons on the side of his mask. Um, which, if you guys remember, um, let, I, I, I'll, wait, let me pull it up. And if you remember, Chica does have green buttons on the side of her mask. So maybe, just maybe, we could be getting a look inside her endoskeleton too. But that's, that's just my theory. My game theory! <laughs> Yeah, so that's the animation of the mask going up. That's actually really good. I like how Bonnie, like, jolts back. As well as the player. But look at that. Let's just take a good gander at that endoskeleton. That is really, really well done. Hold on, let's hear what he has to say. We have to reach the secondary throat pile, I think he said, to activate calibration mode. I have no clue what that said. Okay, Google. Calibrate definition. Here's the definition of calibrate. Mark a gauge or instrument with a standard scale of readings. I don't know what that means. I don't speak music. Um, I'm guessing it has something to do with tuning his guitar, though. Yeah, so he said, uh-oh, something is not right. One of those notes is out of tune. So I'm guessing we just have to retune it by reaching, um, what do we do again? I like how you have to reach into Bonnie's throat to play the, to, to play the notes. And next you have to guess which note is incorrect. Did they do it? Confirm? Hey! They did it! And then that's the end of the game. You just have to close them back up without dying. Yeah, so what they did was they put in the eyeballs first. Uh, I'm pretty sure the guy instructing us said close the face plates. So, they didn't do that! So you gotta reach back into the bucket, get the eyes. Yeah. But again, that animation. Let's get a replay on that. A re- uh, 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 excuse me. A slow-mo replay on that. Because all the jump scares in this game that we've seen so far. We've also seen a Toy Chica jump scare. I'll see if I can locate that for this video as well. But all the jump scares and all the animations, they look phenomenal. Steel wool. Uh, you guys are doing an amazing job. Uh, the endoskeleton looks very similar to the one in FNAF 1, so I'm really glad that they kept... 
kept the similarity. God, I'm so excited. So this is a video showing off Toy Chica's jump scare, as well as some more Bonnie jump scares. Yeah, so there's, to uh, not Toy Bonnie, there's just regular Bonnie. And then they go back to the main menu, and they are going to do the Toy Chica minigame. Or just the jump scare, I guess. Get a good gander at that. I don't know if there are eyelids or different colors, but I'm not sure. Okay, Google. What colors are Toy Chica's eyelids? On the website freddy fazbear pizzariafandomcom If you give me an answer. Toy Chica takes the appearance of a stereotypical feminine character. She is a yellow chicken with an orange beak, blue eyes, purple eyelids, long eyes, no and orange feet. To read more, look for the link in your Google Home app. Google actually gave me a, a, a correct answer. Thank you for once. But yeah, apparently that is their eyelid. I just forgot the color. Yeah, so that was a look at some more uh, features for Help Wanted. We're getting pretty close to release. It's only a few weeks away. It's coming at the end of April, April 30th. At least that's what some sources are saying. But Steerwall or Scott, neither of them had confirmed that release date. So it really could be coming at any point but hopefully you guys enjoyed the jump scares in this video and if you did don't forget to smash like and i will see you all on the flip side goodbye